Hi friends. It's nice to see you again, friends in Miss Amity and Miss Kristen's classes. Last week, Miss Amity read us a story about animals that laid eggs. Animals that lay eggs are called oviparous. Can you say that fancy science word with me? Let's try. Oviparous. Awesome job. Animals that lay eggs are called oviparous animals. Today we're going to read another story about animals that lay eggs. Our book that we're going to read today is called Chickens Aren't the Only Ones. And our author and illustrator of this book is Ruth Heller. Hmm, let's look at this picture. What kind of animal do you see here? Yep, that's a chicken. And what else do you notice about the picture on this cover? Yeah, I knew you would find that. There's an egg. Chickens aren't the only ones. Ooh, let's see what other animals lay eggs too. There's some chickens on the inside. We know chickens lay eggs. Let's see what else lays an egg. That's the title page. I see our title again. Chickens aren't the only ones. Chickens lay the eggs you buy. How many chickens do you see on this page? Right, show me four fingers. I see four chickens. Three hens, mommy chicken. And one rooster, one daddy chicken. I can tell he's a rooster by his big, beautiful tail feathers right here. The eggs you boil or fry or the yellow parts in these eggs are called the yolk. Die! Look at those beautiful eggs. Or leave alone so you can see what grew inside naturally. Chickens aren't the only ones. Every bird, wild or, look at all those beautiful birds. And they all lay eggs. Wild or tame does the same. The ostrich lays the largest egg, the hummingbird the smallest. Can you spy the hummingbird's egg? Let's see if you can find it. <gasps> Did you see it right there? Right under that big ostrich egg. Good job. Chickens aren't the only ones. Most snakes lay eggs and lizards too. And crocodiles and turtles do. All of those reptiles lay eggs too. Look at what's coming out of the crocodile egg. A baby. And dinosaurs who are extinct but they were reptiles too. Do you know what that word extinct means? It, it means dinosaurs aren't here anymore. They're not on earth anymore, they're all gone. But when they were on the earth a long, long time ago, they laid eggs too.
frogs and toads and salamanders lay eggs and when they hatch they're tadpoles who grow legs and climb a lily pad just like their mom and dad. They don't have claws or scaly skin. They are called amphibians. They have smooth skin and amphibians. That is another fancy word. Fish eggs float up to the surface or sink to the bottom of the ocean floor. Look at those beautiful fish. The fish in our classroom lay eggs to have babies. This mother seahorse lays her eggs into the father's pouch. He keeps them there until they hatch and then he's through. I think that's nice of him, don't you? These fathers too are helping out by guarding eggs protected by that foamy mass that's floating by. And they won't leave until they're sure that all the eggs have hatched. These don't look like eggs to me, but they were laid in the sea. This one by a shark. This one by a ray is a mermaid's purse, they say. That's a stingray. They lay eggs too. They live in the ocean. The octopus is said to shed 100,000 eggs and then to hang them up in strings attached to rocks or caves. There's all of the octopus's eggs. Those don't look like chicken eggs, do they? The moon snail's eggs are mixed with sand to form this collar-looking band. And spiders wrap their eggs in sacks. There's lots of spider eggs in that sack. Snails, you know, are very slow, but they lay eggs that hatch and grow. And so do <gasps> insects who have six legs and lay many different kinds of eggs. This one will hatch into a very hungry caterpillar who will grow and grow and grow and then crunch up a stem and change into this, a chrysalis, and change again one summer morn. That's how, what's going to come out of that chrysalis, do you know? Let's look. A butterfly is born. Animals with fur or hair who nurse their young and don't lay eggs are known as mammals. Like this spiny anteater and duckbill platypus are two exceptions and they both live in Australia. They kind of look like birds, don't they? This spiny anteater and this duckbill platypus. They are mammals, but they still lay eggs. They're the only two. Chickens aren't the only ones. There's no more to discuss. Everyone who lays an egg is, do you remember that fancy science word for animals that lay eggs? 
oviparous. And look at these letters in the word oviparous. I bet you know some of these. Let's say them together. O V I P A R O U S. Oviparous. And that's the end of our story, friends. Do you think cats lay eggs? Are they oviparous? Mm. All right, friends. Thanks for joining me for that story. Maybe you can draw a picture of one of the oviparous animals we saw in the story. There were so many. Maybe you could draw a butterfly, or you could draw a hummingbird, or even a dinosaur. Okay, friends, I will see you soon. Be safe, be helpful, be kind.